Walmart in China is dealing with a little bit of controversy after it turns out that their donkey meat has no. been tainted with fox meat. There's been traces of other animals' DNA in the meat and uh, the five spice donkey meat, which by the way, I don't know if that sounds delicious or sounds disgusting, <laughs> um, is now being uh, recalled as a result of this finding. I just find it really amusing that in China people are like, how dare they put fox meat in our donkey meat? <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't, I don't find anything wrong with either one. Like, I don't know why there's this weird double standard when it comes to different types of meat, right? But like, why is fox meat somehow more disgusting than donkey meat? Mm -hmm. I, I think both are on the same well, level. Also, if you're if you're at the level of being such a donkey connoisseur, <laughs> yeah. you're not probably buying it from Walmart. You're probably buying it from a high grade donkey meat no, establishment. But apparently, apparently, according to the article, donkey meat is not a, a standard meat staple. It's more of a snack. Food a snack. in China. A snacky snack. A snacky snack. Have a little donkey like between <laughs> breakfast and lunch, you know. I, I feel like I'm gonna say five spice donkey meat like 30 <laughs> times in the next two no days. Kidding. I mean, look, so obviously when it comes to food, there are huge cultural biases. For all we know, donkey tastes just as good as beef. I don't know. I've never had donkey. And we have to remember that we freaked out when it turned out that Swedish meatballs had horse meat in them. Yeah, Meatball is not the highest grade meat to begin with. But it's, but it's weird that we choose like, so meat you know, meatballs in general, it's just stuff ground up and put together. Yeah. But like, I like how you refer to it as if it's a type of meat. meatball meat. No, I'm like, just saying like, if you found out that animal. your hot dog is tainted with badger or something, you're not going to be really yeah. surprised. But it is yes, weird that like, horse okay. tainted beef is weird and fox tainted Here's donkey the argument, is weird. Though. Okay, yes, there are cultural biases. That's probably the, the fundamental reason that people are freaking out. Maybe, just maybe, and granted, this says that the safety laws are almost nil, so yeah. this may not be a valid mm -hmm. argument, but let's say this were happening in the States. I assume fox is a wild animal and that donkey is a domestically raised animal. Mm -hmm. So there are probably farming Parasites. regulations, right, when yeah. you raise donkey and slaughter it for food. So if a, a random wild fox were to get into this food, there may be no regulations on whether or not the meat in that fox was yeah. safe. Yeah. Like we he also, might we be a typically eat predators. Fox. Yeah. That's one of the things That's that makes it a little bit weirder. Yeah, that is true. I, I do actually. think that. But in that China, they eat dogs, and dogs are predators too. They do. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's they not do. just being racist. I'm not being racist at all. Um, they eat dog in China. I think yeah, that do. Walmart is missing a huge opportunity here. Now, they say that they're going to test all of their high risk meats. Yeah. Which, first of all, stop having high risk meats. <laughs> right. That seems like a bad you idea. Know what? We've had these high risk meats in our markets for a while. Turns out uh, too risky. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we might look into yeah. the, the okay. safety of these no, meats. No, but really, like, I, I, look, so they, you said donkey's just a snack food. But if people are eating five spice donkey meat, just jack the price up by 50 cents and spell. <laughs> sell five spice donkey meat now with like crispy <laughs> habanero fox or something. That sounds better, actually. I would try it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Added. Oh, I yeah. think fox would be higher Newton on fox the improved. food chain than, it, what, than a donkey. I think I'd rather eat fox I'd rather than eat donkey. a fox yeah. than a donkey. But, a I think but, I would try anything. <laughs> uh, like, I remember when we found out that there was horse meat in our, in our Swedish meatballs or whatever, I was like, meh. It might be tasty. I don't know. Some lingonberries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, no, there's no actual uh, seafood in Rocky Mountain oysters. Did you know that? <laughs> I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. Did you know that? That's weird. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought for sure this. Mmm. This tastes a little. <laughs> it tastes a little salty. <laughs> I have to say, it is strange what, you're right, what we pick and choose as being acceptable Definitely. forms of meat over mm -hmm. unacceptable forms of meat. And obviously, if we lived in a nation where it was harder to get our hands on like high grade, whatever we consider to be high grade meat, like it's very expensive, both to the environment and to the wallet to farm cows and mm -hmm. pigs. I mean, it's really not that healthy for us to be doing that. And if it's cheaper to farm donkeys, then it makes sense that in a country where you know that's less available, that people would eat donkeys. I prefer there wild donkey. Wild donkey. The wild donkey, yeah. and you see the packs of donkeys. It's like uni <laughs> unicorn meat. And let's let bear in mind too that, like, so we we've talked about the cultural, so country to country, how people differ and what what meats are okay to eat. But this also time to time is different. Like a lot of people know that lobster now is considered this like delicacy, Before. but at one point it was fed to slaves because they thought it was a, a sea parasite or something mm -hmm. like that. Maybe someday the Chinese will look back and think, man, remember when you used to be able to get fox in your donkey? <laughs> now I can't get no fox. Yeah. I, I want to know what the weirdest thing everybody here has eaten. What's, what's the weirdest? Oh, I had a, in Egypt, I had a small pot that was filled with a sauce and three tiny birds that you ate complete, bones <gasps> and all. Oh, wow. Yeah. Was you like beat the me. the dobu pot was or something. Was it good? Oh, okay. One time when I was in no. Afghanistan, uh, I ate a Eastern European. <laughs> 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 That's always 
straight face. <laughs> you know, they, uh, they allow women in this service now, which is nice. A new layer. Did I, did I, I, like I, like I not understand the question? 